Ooh. No. Holy heck. Stay on the seat. Anyway, welcome to today, guys. We are driving down to the barn. Sam told us to drive down. Let's treacherous on the ice. Although the ice is like hardened up somehow. You gotta spray the push yeah, the metal button, go Gabby. Alright. Okay. Stacy can't come down with us. She's already shaking. Dalmatians are a whole new ball game. <laughs> They're the goofiest. Push the button in the middle of that. There you go. Goofiest, funniest, coldest <laughs> puppies in the whole world. So she doesn't like to get cold. She doesn't like to spend that much time in the barn and we have to clean it because I told you guys before, Sam does not do an awesome job on the weekends. So Mondays, <laughs> Mondays are always clean up day. And if you're wondering why Gabby is driving, Gabby, why are you driving? See, look, it froze up. Yeah, I know. That's how cold it is. Here, put this on. Put the defrost. It's on. It's on. So, why are you driving, Gabby? Because she's too tired to what, to sit in the passenger seat. It'll wake you up. What's the real reason? Practice. Practice. And I got here first. Practice and she got here first. So basically, I, we, Sam and I let her drive around the property. It's not even warm in here. It's warm enough. She's just learning. She's just practicing. I want her to like get her license when she's ready and be actually like ready and, and know what she's doing. Because when I got my license, I did not know what I was doing. Sophie, we have to check the chickens on our way back, okay? All right, let's do it. Let's go, Gabby. It's still cold because I've already been down at the barn by now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, it is really cold today. Like really cold. Come on, spring. Because it is literally too cold. Like I can't even handle this cold. It won't be a big barn cleanup today because it has to be a little bit warmer. It's freezing. Oh man. But for sure it's gonna be warmer today. Little rascals. Look at Penny just got up. There you go, princess. Oh my gosh, why though? Like, honestly. Why? Every time, hey? I know, like an annoying parent. <laughs> the worst though is frozen horse poop. Like, horse poop, you know, you're walking along, you step in horse poop and it's kind of squishy. Well, I don't know that, I try not to step in that stuff. But when it's frozen, it's rock hard under your feet. Like, it's not comfy. That's why, that's why we have shaving, so it's easy to get. Yeah, and that's why Horses poop along the edge of the stalls. What? Your horse does not do that. Yeah, my horse just poops everywhere. My horse poops in one area. Your horse poops on the walls. That's why we have no, wall poop over there. I'm talking about Willow. Oh. Any stall fins in, he gets wall poop. Oh. Whew. Holy heck. It's cold. Hey, you gotta do my hay because I'm not coming down at the moon thingy. Yeah, let Sophie do hay. Nice try. I love no, that coat on you. Now you and Kaylee have matching coats. No, it's still mine. It's still mine. Okay, I love Sophie's coat. <laughs> I love Sophie's coat on you. There you go. So, Sophie's learning fractions, even though she just did fractions. And then you divide it into two. Put it down there on the ground. I don't do that. I do that. I just go one, two, three, four, let's go. And then divide that in half. I got around four flakes. Sweet. And then I throw it to them. All right, so then I add an extra. That's not enough. Just take the whole thing. Take it all. Take it all. I noticed Sam's been feeding them inside, mostly because of all the poop down there. This is just such a mess. Like, I, I can't even believe it. Like, we went all winter with no snow and no ice in the arena, and then poop. Spring. Yeah, now that it's almost spring, it's finally winter. We've been doing a lot of dog videos recently because it's been so fun. Like, just doing stuff with them. Like, yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw that video, it was so funny to me. Like, I still can't get over it. Like, no, it how your dogs pay so much attention. Ooh. They pay so much attention to, like, things that you guys are doing in your family. And then <laughs> we started, the girls just started jumping. And then the dogs start jumping. We should see if they do other stuff, like follow the leader. Okay, I thought she was biting the snow. I was like, what? Oh, she's got her cone. All right, so today I call the little one. Woohoo! 
Yeah, we're so anxious to get started. We're like, whoa, hurry up, horses. Oh, no, it's just it's cold. Frozen. Yeah, my whole body's frozen. Our hands are frozen because you made me do hay. All right, let's go. I'm not coming down later, school. You know what? Gets to drive up. Not you, though. <laughs> not driving. Sophie's not driving yet. She's driving. Yeah, she is driving. All right, here we go. Count to 50, you guys, and hopefully we'll be done. Gabby always gives her girl her own hay somewhere far from the others. One thing we're really good at is noticing when a horse needs more or something different because even though it's common to just put horses into a field, I've noticed through our own experience that managing your fields and making sure that the fits of the personalities are the best for each horse is super important to me. It's way too cold for this, but why not? <laughs> Gabby says, don't make eye contact. I scared Gabby. Don't make eye contact. If you make eye contact with the girl, then suddenly there's a pylon in front of you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did, did you make eye contact? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? What do you want from oh. me? Go. She's like, I'll get it. No, <laughs> she comes to me. Hi. <laughs> right back to Hello. you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess I'm walking. I guess it just feels like for me is that when the sun starts to get stronger, I always just want to get outside and do stuff. But winter lingers for so long. All right, little chickens, let's get you some fresh water. All right. They are done. Wow. Look at we filled that water thing. Uh oh, it's it's over flooding. Why is it doing that? Because it does that. Oh, that's annoying. So is it just gonna run all the way out? Yeah. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, go we'll fix it. How do we fix it? So we're at the barn and the girls are gone to get their boys for tonight for a ride tonight. And um, it looked like everybody was doing fine in the field. Brandon says they're all doing fine, but I wanted to tell you guys something. I don't know if you guys can see this car here, car right here, this truck right here. This truck is parked across the parking lot. So he's taking up about four spots, maybe three different parking spots, all close to the barn. So the only ones that are left are over here in the ice zone it's all ice here it always does do that and i used to be the kind of person that would be like hey dude why are you doing that like it means that nobody else can park there but i've changed so much and i've learned so much and i've learned that it doesn't matter like things like that don't matter you guys kindness always that matters Like at the end, like at the end of your life, when you're laying there on your deathbed, are you gonna say, like, oh, thank God, thank God I stood up and I told that guy he parked badly. Is that the stuff you're gonna be thinking about? No, the stuff you're gonna be thinking about is how kind you were and how you treated people and how much you cared for your family. I actually forgot to bring treats, I hate that. Yeah, so anyways, we're having lessons okay. today. The barn is still under ice, and that's okay. It happens, right, Tino? So the only thing that's kind of different is that we have to tack up in the arena because the stalls are full of ice still. It's got a couple of little tiny scabs here. You can't really see them, you can just feel them. And it's because, you know, he's got a new friend. You got a new friend and you've been playing with him? Yeah. Aww, you are the cutest boy. All right, you have everything you need? Gotta go get your, you can't get. All right, here, I'll go open it. 
We also have Mr. Grayfin here. Hi, handsome. Are you enjoying the new boys? I'm just enjoying the fact that he still has a blanket. We should just get skates and just skate. Yeah. Hurry up, go. Because we don't want to be late. So I'm babysitting. I got one here. And one here. <laughs> oh! Wow, I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're proud of me? I got that blanket all undone. You take all the straps off. <laughs> yeah, all the straps are off. So Brandon was saying that um, so far, like the the meaner one in the, in the field, like the one that's taking charge, the one that's pushing people and being not that nice, just like I thought. Chino. Chino Bambino. I, hey, I Our I loving, gentle, friendly horse. Oh, it's a swamp in the, in the tack room? Yeah. Yeah. So the only reason I we're having- I don't know if you could hear, but that loud banging sound was me chopping away all the things. <laughs> so the only- Sophie's poking Chino and he's dropping his head down. Okay, you're so, like actually going like- Alright, hurry up, get ready, let's okay. go. So anyways, the only reason is that um, we're having lessons is because we have our own horses. I don't even know if that, why that makes sense, but we have our own horses, so we're gonna be here riding anyways, even though the school is closed. So, and our trainer's here. It's just that, like, I think they're really, you have to be just like careful about ice and kids and stuff. I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Laura, shut up. Well, he's, a friend. he's got a dirty neck and a dirty butt. <laughs> I'm thinking about all those times you guys said, don't, don't do it, Laura, don't get a gray horse because gray horses are too hard to clean. And I was like, ah, it's fine. It can be a little dirty until you go to a show and then you just do extra special stuff. Best part about this cleaning horses is, is fun. Is on both sides. Now I see Grayson walking around there hey, with this big, huge black spot on his neck. <laughs> Clearly, you have you brushed it and brushed it. You can tell. All right, we have one up. He's a lot taller than she expected. And then we have one getting up. Don't worry about the height, Sophie. He's like a couch. So we found a horse. Brandon found a horse that he wants Sophie to try. So what would, how that, would that work? If you liked him, Sophie would go try him? So Brandon found a horse and we showed it to Sophie. We showed it to Sophie and Sophie, what'd you think about this horse? He's cute and he's like checks all the boxes, doesn't he? Yeah, it's shocking. I know you want to cry because Finn checks all the boxes. Oh, it's too sad. We can't talk about it, but <laughs> we've maybe found another horse. We like this is the first one that we came across that fits we all the all the boxes. Yeah, Gabby's done. Sophie's been doing lunges on Finn, lunging Finn. You keep him moving because it's so cold and stuff out, and she doesn't want him to get stiff. And you guys, like, this is awful. Like, like, you guys know. You've all, well, some of you guys have been through it, having to, like, move up a horse. It's, it's hard for us, though. Like, it's so hard. Like, there's so much excitement at the thought that, like, we looked at the picture of this horse. Brandon found him for us. And there's, like, a lot of specific things that we wanted a horse for Sophie. Um... It was the first horse that we've showed Sophie. And Sophie said, oh my gosh, I really like him. He's adorable. He like totally reminds me of Finn, but he's not a Palomino. He's a different color. Like, I really like him. Like, we haven't seen him. Brendan's gonna go try him and see, like, like, this could be happening, you guys. Like, this could be happening. Right, Finn? He's like, no, no, don't forget about me. We won't forget about you. Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. And when Sophie, if it works out and Sophie gets to try them, then we'll show you the video and you guys can see if you think he's a good fit. If you don't think he's a good fit, like we want to pay attention. I want to pay attention to what Sophie likes just as much as what we like. Like Brandon has an idea of what Sophie needs in a horse. And I have an idea what Sophie wants in a horse. And it's not like about color or looks. It's about how they move. And it's about, like, she has different things that she wants to do with her horse. And Gabby does. And, and this horse seems to fit that, fit all of it. Like, it's just weird, you guys. Like, I could just cry.
When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. Chino had a high nail, so we didn't end up riding him. The farrier's gonna come back and fix him tomorrow in the morning. I love our farrier, like I told you guys. So, anyways, oh, like, honestly, my heart is just shaking. Like, just it's just beating so fast. Like, when you love an animal so much, and it, like, has been a part of your heart for three years. Like, yeah, it'll be three years. We've had, been three years in like 24 days. In 24 days, it'll be their three year anniversary and basically the end of their their reign. Wow, three years, it doesn't seem like a super long time, but it really is. Like, shock and also like, Sophie loves so much harder than Gabby. Like, she just loves, but that moment when your kid finally says, okay, I understand, I have to move on. Like, that moment is like the hardest moment. Like. It was so hard for Gabby. Like, Gabby had to get the other horse, and she never even loved the other horse until, like, it took her a really long time to... When Gabby got Chino, it took her a really long time to move on from Storm still. Like, it took her a while before she could move on. It took her, like, it took her a long time. And just this past summer is when she really realized that she had moved on from him. So, that moment when you realize, like, your kid says, yeah, I'll look at another horse, it's just, like... It's just so emotional. Don't you know that you're beautiful?